Good evening, everybody. Who did I am? And my little prince go. So, y'all know I took a trip to Arizona or whatever. So, before I got to Arizona, I had an eight hour, no, I had a nine hour layover in um, Minnesota. And that's where Prince is from. So, they had like a whole Prince store and everything. So, I bought the shirt and I got the mug. Now, I was supposed to give this to somebody, but you know, that's, um, that's neither here nor there. So let's get into it. The reason I'm making this video, well, it's a story time, so this is going to be long, so strap the hell in. Okay, so let me pull up the email that I got. Forehead and I, like, comment, subscribe, soul shine on YouTube, forehead and I, all one word on um, TikTok. Instagram is soul underscore shine 331, and my real name is Alexis Mercer. Ew. So I'm the don't doubt your vagina person, that's who I am. Right, and another snippets with eats with owls. It's the whole thing. I'm trying to put it all together. But this email struck me. So I'm going to read y'all this email. Let me pull it up real quick. Oh, this candle smells like... Look at my candle, guys. It smells nice. Three wick. Ew. Yes. Pretty round eyes. That song's been playing in my head all day. Okay, boom. <clears throat> so the email says... Hey, forehead and I, nah, forehead and I, hey, forehead and I, even though I love your Don't Doubt Your Vagina series, oh, thank you, friend, um, you can do, can you do a story time on the lessons you give? The lessons are great, however, I want to know the actual story that goes with it. The lesson I'm trying to learn is when people, when, the lesson I'm trying to learn is when someone tells me who they are, believe them, and why can't I get it right? <laughs> Right of my alley, girl. Ding, ding. Okay, boom. We're gonna start it out. I'm trying to think which story. I have two good stories for that one. So, um, I'm gonna tell one story where I'm the villain, and then the other story where you know I got played. So, boom, here we go. So, I'm gonna start it with the villain first. Um, I, this is in the year of our Lord. Uh, had to be, I think, 2008 or nine or something like that. So my good, good, good friend had invited me to this party. Now she went to high school with this guy and he, his, his friend was the one having a party at his house. So I'm like, all right, fine. Mind you guys, I'm still at work. So I'm on my break right now. I'm just trying to let me minimize this email. Okay. Boom. So, uh, she invites me. She's like, oh, you know, let's be going to this party downtown. Whoop -de -boo. Ah, ah, it's a house party. So we go, she's chilling with her dude. You know, the guy that she, that likes a little razzle dazzle. And then I'm chilling with the guy that like, he was tall. He was, he looked. He, he didn't look, okay, I'm going to be honest. He was not my type. This is how I was being the villain. He had his own spot at the time. I was going through a tumultuous time where I was staying at. I was like really going from place to place. Like I was all over the place. You know, I had no stability in my life basically. So I'm like, oh, I zeroed down. He got his own place. He don't have kids. And this is a hangout. And I could change this and I could change that. I already, as soon as it, as soon as I knew that he was interested, locked him in. I, 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 was, I was a very toxic person. You know, so when I talk about toxicity and stuff, I'm very serious. Like I was OD toxic. So I know what that looks like. And sometimes... I feel like, I guess I would say there are two times in my life where I knew that that was my karma. But I feel like now, where I'm at now, those the dog days are over. So anyway, oh, my eyebrows look nice, baby. Ah, my little cousin, honey. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Anyway, boom. So, <clears throat> don't y'all like my friend's cup? This shit is fire. I believe I was going to get this girl this cup. Aw. Sugar. Anyway. <clears throat> So we, I, I immediately, me, I'm, I'm a bulldozer. So I, I bulldozed my way in his life, and I just kind of just took over everything. You know, even though it still was a hangout spot and stuff like that, I knew that I was not really in love with them. And that's, I was, I was honest. Like I feel like I'm gonna be, I'll be honest with you. My, my, my pattern, how I conduct myself, my pattern was, 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 was obvious. Like I, I was, I, I never contributed to anything. I always wanted things my way. I would start arguments just so I can go out and do me all type of craziness. You understand? So I would say this with, with for that lessons, like when people, you gotta look at people's patterns, people's patterns will always tell them what their deeds are. You don't have to, I don't listen to shit. Anybody says I look at their patterns. What is your pattern? Not even what you do, your pattern, how you, how you move on a consistent basis with me. And if you're consistently inconsistent, because that's a thing too. So when somebody shows, when you see their pattern, not what they show you, their actions, because anybody can love bomb you with some actions. What? You get some dinner, some good dick next to you, you know, you think you on top of the world. That is the bare minimum. <laughs> The bare minimum, just saying from my life experience, it is, and that includes studs too. That strap is the bare minimum. <laughs> Not a lobster and some dick <laughs> that is fake as my eyelashes. I don't even have on you, dog. 
<laughs> hey, come on. Story time. I told you so this is what it is. Check it out. So what I would say to that is that your original question was, how do you stop, um, how do you, what, what was it? Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up so I make sure I'm not. The lesson you're trying to learn is that when someone tells you who they all believe them and why can't you get it right. Like, I showed that man who I was. I showed him that I was a dirtbag. I was a liar. I was a manipulator. And he made a conscious decision to still deal with me because... Or whatever. I, I don't even know. I would I want to say it's love, but it's like, if you don't love yourself, how do you know what love truly is? You know what I'm saying? You can see, but how do you how do you know that? Because somebody could fool you. You could think you in love, and it's not even true. It's not even true because you don't even know how to love yourself. That's why it's key for you to love yourself. Fuck everybody else. That's why I said for this. Let me tell you something. I've set emotional and mental goals for myself. My financial and career goals is already in line. You understand what I'm saying? I might have to modify them things, but they I'm 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 my I'm, I'm headstrong on that. I'm talking about I have to have I have to set <clears throat> mental and emotional goals because if I'm not mentally and I'm not mentally and emotionally together, I'll ruin everything. Like I'm a sabotage. That's what I'll do. I'll sabotage my own shit because I'm like, no, fuck that. You know, listen, when people show you who they are, believe them, believe, believe their patterns. Believe that I gotta turn to take this down. Okay. Believe their patterns. So that's me being the villain. I was I was cold blooded and I was a manipulator. I was extremely toxic. I knew my, my quality was this, and I'll share this with you. This this was my, my major my major toxic trait was making people believe things that weren't real. Whole illusion, smoke and mirrors. You think I'm in love with you? Oh my love, how can you do this? Whole time I'm doing me. Savage like <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's real shit. I'm just being honest with y'all. Like, you got to be honest. That's how this works. You know what I'm saying? If you want the lessons, you got to be honest. You want the story. Now, here's the, here's the most recent story. Check this frog and hoggle bullshit out. Here we go. Take a sip of the pink, of the, of the prince. Mm -hmm. Boom. So I knew this person. I met this person back in, uh, I want to say 2018. You know, we met in school. We were taking classes together or whatever. And uh, there were times when we were supposed to link up, but I was engaged to this. And, um, you know, I was razzle dazzle. I was, I was a little, I was still all over the place. So I really couldn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to bring her into my drama. I really didn't want to do that to her because I felt like she, it wasn't, it's not for her to, I don't know her. It's not for her to have to deal with that. You know, I'm the type of person, like, if I got drama, I isolate and deal with it myself because I don't want to impose myself on other people because if you're not able to handle it i'm gonna look at you like you're weak and i'm gonna get an attitude and it's probably not gonna go the way you think it's gonna go because that's how i am I, i'm like that like I, i'm at first i will blame you how could you not be there for me weak bitch like i'm that person you know and it's the truth you know it's unfortunate but it is what it is boom story time here we go and I hope that this story helps you. And I hope that the first one helped you too because i always want to give a time where i was the villain and another time where i got played so this is the time where I got played. <clears throat> and you know what, to be honest, I played myself. But that's neither here nor there. I'm just, we gonna roll with Russian to tell you the story. Boom. So we didn't get together. We, we, we didn't get, you know, we didn't jab on the slab. Then we didn't do anything then. So then I believe it was me who reached out to her, something like that, during the or over a text message. Cause I still had a number like, oh, happy new year, something like that or whatever. Now this is the year of our Lord 2020. Is it 2020, 2021? 2021. I had reached out to her per per periodically, but 2021, June 21st, it's crazy how I know that date. June 21st, 2021 is when we went on our first like official date. So the date was great. Like we vibe. It was beautiful. We went to Queens. We went to a backyard barbecue. It was, it was like, it was nice. I introduced it to my family. You know, that same, like it was good because in my mind, it's like I, I knew you, I knew her in a very um <clears throat> academic light, but I didn't know her like personally. And it's like her, her vibe was cool. So I asked my, I asked my sister, you know, how you feel about her? Like what's her vibe or whatever. So my sister was honest. She said what her vibe was, whatever. But I will say this. She was honest about who she was. And this is what she said. She said that she was toxic. She said that she was a narcissist. She has her own sets of belief that she, even though she knows she dead ass wrong. For implementing these beliefs. She believes it. She doesn't believe in monogamy. Not to say I guess she can't do it. But she doesn't believe in it. That's not a belief of hers. It's not a realistic thing for her. So <laughs> clearly I don't know where that lies. But she was honest with that. So in my mind. Here we go. In my mind. I always like to know about the worst of a person. To see if I could deal with it. Like, okay I've been through this. So if what I've been through is here. And what you got coming in is here. I could deal with that. Absolutely not. 
I don't want to go through struggle love. You should not have to go through struggle love. When people show you who they are and they tell you out their mouth, listen, I am a narcissist. I am toxic. I'm this, I'm that. Believe that shit. And then when they actions follow, I don't, they don't want no relationship. So in my mind, I'm like, man, fuck this bitch. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's exactly what I felt. And I know that's what you felt. When you meet somebody, well, a guy or girl, you're just like, you know what? Nah, fuck that. I'm gonna I'm do. All right, let me put this back on, guys. Gotta get back on mine. You're going to do what you want to do. I can change them. I can change them. So now time is going on. Mind you, this is June 21st. This is the first official day. I feel like all that shit we was in school with don't really count. You understand? Because I didn't even really know you like that. Now we out. I'm in your presence. We on the phone. We late night on the phone talking. We getting deep. Every time I'm around you, I'm learning something different. I'm getting to know you better. Like, all of this stuff is happening. You understand me? And I'm so excited. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is how I'm feeling. So I'm like, all right, cool. Time started going past. First red flag. Here we go. So, somebody calls my phone telling me about what she got going on. That, that, that was, and I should have, and I should have backed out then and I did. I had my running shoe track star. She wound up, I blocked her on everything. She wound up calling me from a number that, whatever number it was, her, another job phone number. And we got back swapping pussy juices. Swappy swap, swappity swap, 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 swappity swap. So I'm like, all right, cool. And you know what, for me, for me, I would say it was it was more than just sex because I can get I, it's like, sex is not a problem. You understand me? Never has been, never will be. You understand? So I don't have that affliction. My thing was just that I wanted something deep. I don't want to just swap juices with somebody. I want, I want some real shit. I want us to travel. And, and her and I went out. To, we, we've traveled together. We went, went to Dominican Republic together. We go out. We have fun. We have in depth conversations. To me, this is my this is how I'm perceiving this. And now that I look on it, it's like that. That to me it was just. It wasn't real. And you know, I, and this is why I, this is why I struggle with trust. Because it's not even trusting the other person. Fuck them. You gotta trust yourself. You gotta trust yourself. The moment that girl said she was a narcissist, she was toxic, that's not some shit I need. I've been narcissistic. I've been toxic. You know, and I've also been on the other side of the spectrum where I had to deal with that. Like, hell no. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you like I felt like I was down my vagina. Like, what the hell wrong with you? This is man, what? Not steam clean, like are you dumb? So I said, okay, everything fine. So this, this is, this is when the shit hit the fan. This is when the shit hit the fan. Everything good, we good, whatever. She tells me about everything she got going on. She's like, oh, she not doing this, she not doing that. Like she prides herself on keeping it real with me, whatever that looks like for her, her version of real. In my mind, I felt like it was real, but it wasn't brutal. You know, me, I, I need brutality. That That's the person I am because it's like, that's that's like even with my therapist, right? I, I like them because they don't, they handle me a certain way. I need that challenge. I'm that person you're going to have to challenge. In, in order for me to grow, I have to be challenged it, it, aggressively sometimes. Yeah, that, that has to happen. So I said, okay. I'm like, all right. I talked to my cousin about it. <clears throat> I'll take a sip of the prints. Mm-hmm. Mm. I talked to my cousin about it when I went to visit Arizona. And I love you, Flo. I love you, love you, love you, love you, Flo, so much. Boom. So I talked to Flo, Flo about it. Flo said, girl, you better leave that girl alone. You better leave that girl alone. I'm like, oh, God, I can't. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, right, it's been six months. Our first day. And it's like, not even this, like, okay. You know how people, was it, was it Steve Harvey who said it? By the time it's six months, it's like, okay, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Like, I can't just... Not at 35. I cannot just be your jab on the slab. I cannot. I cannot just be your your 4 a.m. Melanie Fiona. I cannot just be the person you're not committing to. You can't just tell me, oh, okay, I really, really like you. I'm really, really feeling you. Oh, you mind. Oh, this. What does that look like for you? You cannot. I'm not the person you can do that. I didn't been through so. I spent through such a tumultuous emotional time in my life. I didn't went from shit to sugar. I be damned. I'll be damned. I can't do it. And it's not that I can't. I don't want to. Because can't is a restriction. Don't do it. Now, let's, 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 let's bring it back. Why you can't get over it? You know why? It's because in my... I'll, I'll speak for myself. Because in my mind, I really did not want to believe it. Because she's such a great person. And it's like, I knew that I started to, to love this person. Like, I know when I started to love a person, when I started to pray for them. Because I don't just pray for everybody. I, I haven't reached that level of, of, of my spirituality. Like, I'm not that individual. So, it's like... If, if things are going well, it's like, yeah, I'm praying for you. I'm, I'm encouraging you. Like, I'll see little memes. I'm like, all right, let me send it to you. Like, you, you're the last thing I'm thinking about. Like, I want you. I want you. I'm looking for a wife. I want a wife. And this is shit. This is, I'm dead serious. A spouse. This, I'm, this, this is this is the energy I'm giving. And you finna tell me that, okay, you just gonna do you. Like, 
It's a possibility. There, there's no commitment to say, okay. And then, you know, you get the speech, right? Oh, you know, I just came out of a long relationship. Then why, then why did you do all of this with me? Why? Why, why, didn't you, why, why didn't you stay away from me? You could have stayed away from me. And there were signs like going three, two and three days without texting me, hitting me up and stuff like that. Those were clear, there was were clear signs, leading indicators that that person has shown you who they are. And I'm refusing to believe it. Crazy. Check it out. Boom. Here we go. This was the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, I was supposed to leave Monday, December 27th to go to Arizona. So I go <clears throat> to the airport or whatever. And, um, the razzle dazzle. Mm-hmm. Boom. So I go to the airport. <clears throat> and they saying that the flight is canceled. So I'm like, oh, I'm a little bummed by I'm like, all right, right, whatever. So I told them, like, listen, I'm still going to go. Because I felt like everything that wanted to stop me from going to Arizona did. Like, the delay in Minnesota before that. My, I was supposed to be there on Monday. I got there on Tuesday. I really got there on Wednesday because of the, the you know, because of the time difference and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right. I was a little bummed by it. But I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to keep trucking because I knew that. I prayed to God for something specifically, and I knew that I had to go to Arizona to get it, to feel that feeling that I needed, that communication, and I got it. The peace, peace, I need that. Inner peace is what something I struggle with. I have to be peaceful. Like, it's a lot of chaos up in here. It is. It's a lot of chaos and a lot of damage that I'm trying to undo and everything, and I know everybody else can probably relate to that, but here's the goddamn coup de grace. And when I tell you this, this... What I, what I said, so I could have saved myself from this. That's why I'm adamant. Listen, when somebody show, when you see somebody's patterns and you pick up on shit that you don't like, you don't have to deal with it. You don't, don't, don't even fix your, change your whole mindset, how your brain moves. Because the first thing for you to do, normally, for most women, is to be like, I can fix it, I can change it. Uh-uh, that ain't your duty to do that. Now, it depends on the situation, I'm not going to hold you, but I feel like this. That ain't your duty to do it. If they don't, listen, you, you got to understand the assignment. You know what I'm saying? I got a little cousin. I don't even think this girl knows she's my cousin, but her mother knows. You know, we was we wasn't all at grandma house. So I, you know, when we go, when you ain't all at grandma house, you don't consider that person a cousin. Like if you wasn't at Aunt Deborah house at the sleepover, we really don't know who you are. And that's just that's just what it is. It's something stuff, right? Check it out. Her man is incarcerated, right? Her man is incarcerated, and that man is still taking care of her and her child. Now, mind, she got a great job. She's doing her thing. He doing his thing, but that's what I'm talking about. They understand the assignment. Oh, hold on, guys. Whoa, whoa. I got a little chatty chat coming in. So I have to put that on mute and mute for you. All right. Hopefully this doesn't interrupt us. But yeah, so my thing is, when you see stuff like that, like I'm not saying they, they didn't go through what they go through, but I'm saying they understand the assignment. They look out for one another. That's the type of love you want. And this girl is what? She's in what? She just turned 30. I'm thinking she's like 29, 25. Some, I don't know. I, can't, I don't remember how old she is. She has a beautiful daughter. You understand what I'm saying? And, and her mid they, they, this is what I'm saying. So it's for you. You don't have to get, let me tell you something. When you look at situations like that, man is incarcerated and, and bought her a fucking vehicle. Are you dumb? And they over here talking about, well, oh my God, I don't know what you, let me tell you something. The price of pussy just went up. I'm sorry I'm going off on a tangent. I apologize, but this is the fuck what it is. You understand? It's in men to be providers. It's built in your system. It's in you, blood. It's in you. And if you're unable to do that, then you don't need to date. You don't need to be with people. If you're not able to show up and do those things, you don't need to be here. Who are you? But let's get back to the subject at hand. Right? I'm sorry, God. All right. I'm, I apologize. Let me just send this. How can I support you today? All right. Sorry, God. We don't support you today. So... I'm on my way to the airport. This is now December 28th. I'm on my way to the airport. So I get a private call. I know y'all like, oh, shit, man. Right. So I get a private call. Now, the first call, I didn't answer. Second call, I didn't answer. Third, when the third call came, I said, oh, shit. Because, you know, I have different friends from different walks of life. So in my mind, I'm like, this must be a jail call. Somebody got arrested. Immediately. That's what I'm thinking. Somebody got arrested. So I'm like, damn. All right, come on. So I start, I start dipping, I start thinking about money immediately. That's how I am. Like my mind to be on the money. Like okay, they probably gonna need this. I'm gonna have to cash out this person. All right, so let me just get my shit together mentally, so I know what I'm gonna have to do for whatever person this is. All right? Cool. We gonna reenact it. I'm, I'm literally walking through the airport to go check in, which I should have checked in on my phone anyway. But that's just me. I had came to the airport early because I don't like to feel rushed and feel anxious. So I go.
So I go. This is the fourth. Um, this is the fourth private call. So I'm like, hello. I'm like, hello. Like I, the way I answer, I didn't answer with that. Like hello. Like you know, I'm my chicken head voice on the shit. But that wasn't the case. I'm like, hello. Like I was concerned to work because I didn't know who it was because they kept calling. So I'm like, hello. All he is, yeah, bitch. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. Not yeah, bitch. When I tell you, I got so hot from the soles of my feet, cheese and rice. I said, so usually when I get upset, I automatically grab my own neck. It's mad weird. Anybody who knows me, like, my sister, everybody be like, bitch, why you grabbing I don't know why I grab my own neck. I guess maybe the, the, the I, I don't know why I do that. It's, it's fucking weird. So I said, so I grab my neck. I'm like, excuse me. I said, well, who the fuck is this? She like, yeah, you messing with boop. So I'm going to boop her name out. So you messing with boop. And Boop told me that um that she ain't real serious about you. That shit ain't never gonna go nowhere, bitch. And she fucking me. And she fucking Danielle from the job. Blah, blah, blah. Going the fuck in. And I'm just looking at the phone like, with my beats on like. So now I got a decision to make. So because I, I'm, when I'm, one of my emotional goals, I don't know if I share this with y'all. One of my emotional goals is to not allow anything, I don't care what I hear, not to react off of my emotion, but to sit and think and pause for a minute and then respond. I don't want to react to anything because when I react, Bad things happen. In, in, in my history, bad things have happened because I react to stuff. It does. I don't want to react. I want to be able to respond as an adult or not respond at all, which that's what I should have did. But I have not reached that level of maturity. I have not unlocked level number five because um, I don't think level number five exists for me. I ain't going to take a drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom. So she going off. So I, told, I said, first of all, I said, clearly I must have been off. So I had to relax and get into forehead and nine mode and not Alexis or Paige or any, any of them other characters that go in my head. We all have characters. Don't fucking lie. It's not just me. Right? Boom. So then I said, so after she goes off on the rant talking about Danielle girl, talking about the other girl, talking about how she having sex with her and, and how she telling our business and stuff like She was saying things that I just feel like she shouldn't have knew like, you should not know that we were together on, on Christmas Eve. You should not have known that. You should have known that the times we were together. You should not have known that. Like, why do you know that? Why do you know that? That's an issue for me. So now it's like, okay, <laughs> this is only him. Because I don't post to be like, oh, yep, yeah, I'm with her here. Only people that know that is when, who, and my mama. That's it. Those are the only three people that know that be know that. Okay, girl, I'm here. Just in case some shit pop off or whatever the case may be. Boom. So I'm like, all right, cool. She's going off on a tangent. So I told her, listen, I said, clearly I must have been on your mind because you're calling me at 5.30 a.m. I left my house at 4. I left my house at 4.37. I got to the airport like a little, a little before 5.30. So I'm like, clearly. I've been on your mind since last night because you woke up or you woke up calling me. That's number one. Number two, it doesn't even sound like you brushed your goddamn teeth. I don't even know what's that about because that halitosis is definitely coming through my Galaxy 21, which is clearly a problem. And number three, don't call me. Clearly, your problem must be with her. It cannot be with Alexis. It can't be with Alexis because now you're letting me know. You're letting me know, queen. You're letting me know, queen, that you have an issue with me. And I'm not the problem. I'm going to always be me. She's going to always want this. Are you dumb? It has nothing to do with looks. It's what I bring. It's my energy. You can't mimic that. You can't buy that. They don't sell that in stores. You're born with it, bitch. And then I hung up the phone, respectfully. So now as I'm sitting there, when I get upset, like I usually get the bubble guts, like my, my stomach starts like... Rrr. So my stomach is, uh, mind you, I didn't eat anything because I told you I don't like to eat before I get on the plane. I don't because I don't like to use their bathrooms. I cannot take a doo-doo. I can't do that. I, I just, I, I don't even know how that would work. So I'm like, okay. So the longer I sat there, the madder I got. I'm like, to him, it's 5, 7 in the morning. I don't want to call Wayne. Don't want to call Fool. Don't want to call my mom. I'm like, yo. I said, God. So I start praying. I'm very spiritual. So I start praying. I'm like, God, please, like. I got to say something. I feel like this is a sign. I feel like God gives you signs when you should not be dealing with certain people. When shit start happening, it's like, nah, this is not for you. This is not what you really want. And to be brutally honest, it shouldn't even have gotten to this because I feel like this. After 
I ain't gonna hold you. A a after dealing with certain people, it's just like that. That is a boundary. Do not have anybody call me. And my, my I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. If you fin, if you fin to do whatever you gonna do, did put these motherfuckers, put who, excuse my language, put whoever it is in check. You got to, it ain't no way. I can never. I wish a, I wish a motherfucker would. Excuse my language. If I'm dealing with somebody and I'm dealing with somebody else, and that person think they gonna look through my phone and call that other person, are you dumb? Do you know the repercussions behind that? That's sloppy. Stop being sloppy. If you're going to do something, do it for real. That's why I tell people, if you're going to lie, practice in the goddamn mirror. You got to practice with me. You got to practice. Yes, I believe it. Yes, I believe it. Yes, I believe it. You got to practice. Don't have no hoes. I mean, I don't call her hoe because she's just a black woman. I'm trying to be respectful. Call me telling me anything about anything. And I just, and what I know is that it flashed me back. It flashed me back to a few places. It flashed me back to me if I'm not good enough. And you got this girl calling me. It flashed me back to like, oh, you so sloppy. Like, what the fuck is going on with this shit? It flashed me back to just getting the break. I'm just realizing because there's no reason for nobody to be calling my phone. You said I'm not even your woman in the first place. So why the fuck does I have, why have people calling my phone? Because they know it's real between us. Because they know how the fuck you feel about me. Get cut the, cut the shit. God damn. I was enraged. So, I left a nasty message. To be honest, I don't even know what the fuck I said. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even gonna sit and say, well, I said because I don't remember. I'm gonna keep it right. I don't remember exactly what I said. Yes. Did I have a couple of glasses of red wine while I was waiting for my flight? Yes. And that's after like the, the fourth the fourth glass of red wine. I said, no, nah, I'm calling her. I'm, I'm, I can't do this. You know, and I feel like that's what happens. Like when you when you refuse to look at what God has put in front of you, when you refuse to acknowledge what somebody's doing you wrong, when you refuse to know that you deserve better, God does things like this. He had to hit you with the bow, because if he don't hit you with the bow, you don't you don't know what that you 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 can't receive it. You can't receive it. God can't be like, well, Alexis, you know that's what she said. God gotta be like, oh, all right, <laughs> we gonna tap into what really get on you know do do do. Bitch, I was like, <laughs> I could not believe it. I could not be. My nails is fire. I could not. I could not believe it. I really could not. In my soul, I could not believe it. So I just say that to say this in response to that email. It's just pay attention to the patterns. If you don't like a person's patterns. That's it. And my thing is this. It's like whatever you don't like about a person will not turn into love or like. It will turn into hate and resentment. So if you know, honestly, you cannot deal with that. Honestly, I cannot deal with a person that's dating me and dating other people. I'm 35 years old. I'm not with it either. You, you see that it's up and stuck or you don't. And, and it's okay. If I'm not your cup of tea or your favorite latte or your mochiami, ma macchiato with the extra caramel. It's all right. I'm okay with that. But don't play games with people. Because see, what happens is like... I'm going to tap into the mental health part for a minute. What happens is like, you don't know what mental health day I'm having. Yeah. Well, how you think I got here? This is, this wasn't easy. I didn't wake up and say, God, by jolly, I'm going to get my shit together. Hell no. I had to go through some shit. And, and every day is not a good day. You know what I'm saying? Every day is not a happy day. Every day is a joyful day because I know that joy, if I have joy in my heart, it will carry me. Happiness is, 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 is temporary. You can be happy for the moment. Things can go from sugar to shit quick with me. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, come on. Why would you play? You know? And I'm not saying I was the victim in this story. What I'm saying is that I did not act on what I already knew was true. And what I knew was true was that it was never going to be me with her. You know, what I knew was true was that I liked her more than I liked. I know she liked me. I, she, I liked her more than she liked me. What was true was that I knew that I was settling for breadcrumbs when I deserved the cake. You know what I'm saying? What I knew that is that I was holding myself back because it, it, I, I just felt, it, it felt good just to have a safe space for a moment. But it, can, it, can it have longevity? Is this real? You know what I'm saying? You want to do whatever you want to do and then put restrictions on me. But then say, well, you're going to do what you want to do. And it, you got to notice when somebody is trying to mind fuck you. When they trying to do the Jedi shit. Luke, I am your father. Those type of those type of mind games, man. And the only reason I I I was I feel like this. I didn't I negated what I knew was because I didn't want to acknowledge it. I I believed that 
it could change because of the interactions we have. But you got to believe when, when, when it, that's like the how Steve Harvey said that time. Somebody introduced them, a guy introduced you or whoever you introduced you as, you as their friend, that's exactly what you are, their friend. If they introduce you as their girl, that's exactly what they feel like, that you're their girl. You have to be aware. People are manipulative, man. They will do whatever they got to do to get what they want from you. And it is your job to recognize that. Educate yourself. A lot of these videos I'm doing to educate y'all, man. I didn't been there and it was sad. I didn't cry. All type of stuff and just realize, but this recent situation made me realize this. And I'm going to share this with y'all and I'm gone. Is that Alexis has to learn how to love Alexis a little bit more than what, a lot bit more than what Alexis is loving herself. Because see, when you love yourself, you don't tolerate shit like that. You know, and I felt bad that I even entertained that girl or said anything. Because I'm just like, I should have just hung up the phone, but I, I, that's not who I am. If I got something on my chest, I got to get it off. And that's just what that was. You understand me? And it was just like, damn, like, why'd you do this? You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 it's, it's the sloppiness of it all. I feel I, I'm a, I will stick by this, and I know I'm going to probably get backlash for this. If you're going to lie, be the best lie. Practice in the mirror. If you're going to cheat, you're going to move how you move. You got to be the best. Get your shit in check. There's no reason somebody should be calling me, telling me jack shit. Not that I don't already know, but that unhealthy reminder, but I feel like that's what God wanted me to know. To be like, girl, <laughs> Molly, you in danger, girl. <laughs> but bottom line, bottom line, you will keep reliving and don't keep repeating the same cycle until you honestly get it. And there are going to be challenges. I'm talking about challenges to the point where it's just like, people going to come back, things going to happen. Like, no, nah, if it's meant for you, if it, it's not for you. This ain't for you. That's how, I, that's, that's how I took it. I was at the airport thinking for a long time. I had a lot of time on my hands to be like, as much as I care about this individual and I like her, and she, I ain't going to hold you. I, I love her. You understand what I'm saying? Alexis got to love Alexis more because, see, what I don't want is this. Because people can love you and like you, and that's great. But can you can you love me through the darkness? Can you love me when shit changes? Can you love me when I click out? Can you can you love the click out? Now, if you can love the click out, we cool. Because the click out happens. Can you love it when it's bug out season? Season. Can you can you love me through that? And can you understand why I cannot get jiggy with, with what's going on? Stop thinking you can change people. Stop thinking you can help people. That's not a reality. People got to want to help themselves. People have to want things for themselves. They have to do it for themselves. And you can be the motivation. That's all good and well. They got to want it for themselves. So I, don't, I can't tell you what to do. But your question was, why can't you get it right? You can't get it right because you're making excuses for this person. Hell, you're making excuses for yourself. When you notice something, you got to be eyes wide open, even if it hurt. But you, if what you see and the patterns that they're doing, even if that shit hurt you, it's there. It's going to, after the hurt, it's a healing. But that depends on how you, how you navigate this thing. That's how life is. So I say that to say this. I understand that it's difficult to believe what you see with people. They can tell you one thing, but believe their patterns. If they consistently inconsistent, that's a pattern. There's no way you dating somebody and they don't call you for three days. What the fuck happened to you? Your fucking fingers are broke? Excuse my language. That should have been another leading indicator. For me. There are so many leading indicators. And you know, it, it, and for the person I am, yes, I believe in zodiac signs. I'm an Aries. So for who I am, it's just like we beat ourselves up first automatic. Automatic. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, like beating myself up. And I had to like ease up on myself. Like, all right, you know this how you are. So what are we going to do? Change the player or change the game? Change the player. I'm the player. I got to change. <laughs> player one. Ready. I have to change. Ain't no way. You know, so I hope that in inspires whoever hears this to just um just do different. You know, you don't you don't have to. Yes, it gets lonely. I'm not saying I don't miss the pussy. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. We grown. I'm not gonna say I don't I don't miss any of that. Yeah, I miss the connection, the, the laughs, the jokes, to all, all of that. Yeah. But I, I, I cannot, I, I cannot miss something that's going to be temporary. You know, you don't love me the way I love you. You don't love me at all. You know what I'm saying? You still dipping and dabbing the way you got going on and everything. And that's supposed to be cool. You know, and because I am where I am right now, people are like, why? I got people, why you don't be a savage? First of all, 
Anybody who really know me, I, I, my savage days are over. I, I can't do that anymore. I'm, 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 I'm done. The BNR days are over. But nigga records is over. You know what I'm saying? I'm at a point where I want a family. I want some real shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to go to museums and buy candles and shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to look and say, oh, these polo socks would look nice with your polo fucking outfit. I want to do that. I want to buy furniture together. I want us to work on the podcast together. I want us to do skin routines on each other. Like, oh, baby, let me put the mask on your face or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Real shit. And that comes with arguments, fights, and disagreements. And I'm okay with that. But as long as we got good communication and comprehension, we will be okay. But I can't deal with somebody that think that it's okay to be narcissistic and toxic. Or to even joke or play about some shit like that. And I knew that was my downfall. And I should have nipped that shit in the bud then. But in my mind, because I'm, I'm control master flash, I, it, it's for me, that I think that, okay, well, you know, maybe this will change or that'll change. Hell no. People got to change if they want to. You can't, you can't debo somebody or make them do like, like, even when this was over. Yeah, did I have people throwing ass at me and been in situations where I could have got whatever rails or rails that I needed? Hell fucking yeah. But to me, I don't want to swap pussy juices or any juices with anybody because I, 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 I no, you can't, I, I, no, I don't want to, I don't want to have that, that soul tie because that's what that is for me. Because I'm in tune with my spirituality. So for Alexis, that's real shit. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? T soul tie with you? And fuck up everything I got going on? Get emotional about some shit? Do something because my emotions supersede my intelligence? See, people don't understand. You can't play games with people. You understand? And if, and if like, what you have, things are always subject to change, right? So whatever you had going on in the beginning, it's not how it's going to be going on in the end. And that's the mentality that I really had. I'm like, all right, well, we're going to start off like this, but then maybe. And I'm not going to say that she didn't care about me. Yeah, I think she cared about me, but she definitely didn't love me. Because love doesn't hurt. <laughs> it, don't, it don't feel like that. I know what love feels like. Love doesn't feel like that. So I say that to say to the person that emailed me, thank you for emailing me. I think I'm going to make this a thing, like a little story time on the YouTube or whatever. So, but um, I appreciate you emailing me, and I hope that... Whatever I shared with you today helps you. Um, I'm learning to try to be more open and honest about like the stories behind what I say because everything that I say has a story behind. That's something that I lived through. For real. And that's why I feel like this is my calling. I can't feel it. Let me backtrack. That's how I know this is my calling. And um, I hope that this story time helped you, Mama. I really, I really do. You can always email me back if it didn't or if you need extra whatever whatever it is please 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 feel free to reach out to me instagram is soul underscore shine 331 on facebook it's alexis mercer uh my email is alexis.mercer86 at gmail um tiktok is forehead and i ew, not the am but ew. uh and youtube is just the name soul shine so please 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 i hope all of this helped y'all I'm going to share it for the full story. Please, it's going to be on YouTube. And um, just thank you for letting me share. And I'm glad that you emailed me. And it's it's a journey. It's a process. You're not going to wake up the next morning and be like, but by God jolly, you know what? I'm going to believe what I see. It's a process. You know, everybody doesn't reach. It always takes some type of pain or some type of hurt to get to the healing. You know, so, you know, if, if you don't learn these lessons that you feel like you need to learn for yourself and only you can give yourself that advice, only you can say, OK, this is what I need to learn and this is what I need to do. I'm just sharing my lived experience with y'all because there were leading indicators telling me I shouldn't have been in these situations. I just shouldn't have. I should have headed out because I knew that what I knew that this I knew that that was something I really did not want. I don't want to date somebody that's dating other people. Or there's a potential that you don't have any commitment to me, so you finna do whatever you want. And it puts me in a position where I feel like I got to prove myself. I've been there. I know what that feels like. It's not for you. It's not for you. The dog days are over now. And that's an actual song. I don't know who sung it, but it's, it's an actual song. And I actually like it. I should pull it up. The dog days are over now. It's like some country shit, but it's beautiful. So, um, yes. Thank you for letting me share. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share, all of that stuff. I appreciate y'all. Go ahead and I am. You know, yes, and send those emails in. I didn't know I was going to get this email. So, please, if you have, if you want to know a story time about anything or any lesson or any, any anything, anything at all, please, 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 please feel free. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. 
uh, please, sorry, that's my job. Please feel free to um, email, DM, or messenger me. Okay? 49 with the ring light. Ew.